So we have found the most random place here. In the middle of that. Welcome. Place. So what was it called? Uh, Boland Wild Boar Park. And I can assure you, this is in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. However, however, I think it's important, I appreciate we're a theme park channel, but it is important to support attractions and we support attractions, which is exactly what we're doing. Come to see some animals. Yeah. You know, it's not just theme parks and fairs and big zoos that need everyone's attention. It's little places like this. So yeah, join us. It won't be very long. We'll give you an overview of what it is because quite honestly, we have absolutely no idea. It's a big ball, look, with a little ring through. He's fenced off as well, just in case you want to get too close. Aren't they sweet? I can hear chickens. <laughs> Don donkeys? Oh, please do not feed the donkey. Look, the little cow, look at them, look. What's up, dudes? A little pole cat, look. There's a lot of feathers in there. Oh, look at him, he's a splendid looking one, isn't he? You're gonna make a noise for me. You reckon they're taking my finger off? Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of agree, this one will. Oh, but I love chickens. My TikTok feed is full of chickens, capybaras, alpacas. Golden fe I don't think I've seen a golden pheasant before. Look at that, it's beautiful. You do? Not at all. The question is, Cody, do you have to have a zoo license for a meerkat? You do? I think you do anyway. Oh, there's a couple of baby ones. That's what I like about these places. You can get really close to them. What's up, dude? It's that blooming chicken keeping you awake, isn't it? What do we think they are? I'm sure there's a sign somewhere. Oh, yeah, look. He looks dead, doesn't he? He's had enough. What do we think these are? Got to be some kind of duck, haven't they? Oh, there's Mr. Owl, look. Little piglets? They've got a little mud bath that they can go in. Now, of course, this is a boar park. So we've got the adult boars just here. There are a couple of different species. Bless them. But we notice there's quite a lot of babies as well. That's a thistle and a half. There's loads of room for them to roam around. Oh, it's wet on the foot. <clears throat> oh, look. Bless them. The setting here is fantastic. Even when the ducks want some peace, they can just go over there. Beautiful, isn't it? What's this dude? Alright mate, another game. Cool. Good chap. Good chap. So they do do tractor rides here as well as little barrel rides for the kids. Oh, I don't know if we're going to go on a tractor ride, are we? No. I don't think we need to go on a tractor ride, do we? We come out really to enjoy the sunshine, I think. £10 entry, that's the same for adult children. Children <laughs> under four, free. 
is actually relatively good because it's a beautiful surrounding. You can come and walk and spend as much time as you want. They've got cafe, obviously facilities, free Wi-Fi, as long as you're a bit closer to the hut. Yeah. And, um, and the animals to look at. Here comes, the, here comes the goose. Yeah. It's a walkthrough alpaca area with alpacas. The original is that plant on the other side there. It does. Oh, he's fluffy. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. Sorry, sir. So incredibly this week, we've had a walk through capybara and a walk through alpaca. I mean, these are little baby ones, aren't they? Look how furry they are, look how sweet they are. They don't seem that bothered. Oh, he's coming over. Oh, hello. You're gonna spit that at me, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I see ya. <laughs> I got no food. He literally nodded. He literally nodded as if to say, yes, I'm going to spit at you. Oh my life. I'd refuel on grass ready to spit at me. That was a great idea. How cute are they? Look at him! Look at him! It's chief mower of the oh, year. Fluffy. He is so fluffy. He's gonna spit at me now. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> In fact, these are little baby ones, actually, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, he's so fluffy. They just don't seem that bothered, if I'm being honest. And they're not actually supposed to touch their backs, they prefer to touch their necks. Look, there's a white one, look. No, it's two white one. Oh, look at his foot. What's he done to his foot? He just walks a bit weird. Oh, bless them. They probably don't want to be fluffy today. I love the chickens. Look at him, look. He's a big one. There's another one there. <laughs> oh, the duck's coming over. Hey, Mr. Chicken, how are we doing? He's not chasing me, so that's a good start. He's not really running either. I just don't think he's bothered. And then we've got the goats down there. All the alpacas are now sleeping. <laughs> it's so weird. It's so open. Tractor Mac. That was, a big llama, that was a big llama, yeah. Not walking through with that. <laughs> that thing will spit at you. I can't believe how placid those alpacas were. It's a little bit ridiculous. Let's go back and see him in a minute. Lots of goats hanging around. On the other side. Hey, Mr. Goat. Hello. Hello. I'm going to need food, I'm afraid. Oh, Cody's hogging them. <laughs> Cody's hogging the goat. You didn't want to cuddle, you just wanted to eat my hand, didn't you? Stay back from the fence or the ostriches will bite and kick. Um, I'm no animal expert, but I don't think that's an ostrich. Tail friendly, well, it would turn us Whoa. Wouldn't want to be hit by that thing coming towards me. Holy oh, crap. No. That's got a horn and a half. Right, I think the ostrich are down here. We'll go to the ostrich. Yep. These are a common ostrich. I wouldn't call ostriches common, to be honest. 
So obviously a fully grown one like this, if it kicks you, it can deal a fatal blow. Which is why it tells you not to go over the fence. But I have to be honest, I think this could be the closest ever got to an ostrich. Because this is really close. prehistoric legs and toes that it has. Have we ever been this close to an ostrich? Uh, no. Not that I really... Actually, no, Chesington's when they got past the gate. Yeah, but even then, they you were, can't no, get... they were leaning over the edge. That's uh, still ridiculously close, though. And I can lean over the top. We can still get a little bit closer, worryingly. <clears throat> Whoa. Hey, guys. How's it going? You just flapped your... Massive. Flapped your wings in this one's face. Yeah, I'm going to stand back a little bit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That thing comes through the fence at me. If the ranch is anything to go by, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> it's gonna be a bit painful. And my arms are sunburnt at the moment. Yeah. Which is why we're only filming front view, because I'm sunburnt at the moment. Wow. Absolute wow. Whoa, scared me then, don't do that. Come on, then just check under the wing. <laughs> it's got a bit of a twisted neck, that one, isn't it? Yeah. He likes us. Does he? I think this uh, signpost would say otherwise. Whoa, yeah. They will bite and kick. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I don't want to be bitten by one. I'm sure I survived that. There's no guarantee you're going to survive a kick depending where it gets you. Because these things can really pack a punch. But yeah, ostriches. I don't remember ever getting that close to them. Over here we've got some red deer there and a little wander around as well but yeah there's so much room down here it's lovely yeah. oh yeah you're gonna eat me are you you're gonna eat my top you're gonna you're gonna eat my top yeah you can't eat that you really can't it's not food You're gonna come and eat my top as well now. You're gonna come and eat my top as well now. Or my shorts. You're gonna eat my shorts. You jumped up on me, you missed it, God. <laughs> this is my friend now, this one. You're my friend now, aren't you? Hello. Oh, hello you. <laughs> Been butted up the backside by a goat. You missed that cord. Whilst I was bent over, what? he came behind me and butted me in the backside. Did he actually? He did. <laughs> Is it because we weren't saying anything to you? Is that why? Mm -hmm. Is it because I was ignoring you? Go on, Cole, give it a cut. Give it a stroke. Huh? Go on. <laughs> he wants the attention, you see. He wants the attention. Right. Ah, you again. You coming to eat my shorts again, are you? Hmm? <laughs> yep, that's my t-shirt. Please don't eat my leg hair, that might be painful. That's my leg hair. All right, he's not convinced I've got food. You've got to bend down, Cody, and then come and see you. You keep bending over. Yeah, yeah, that's... Food. See if they want some food. Right, so what Cody's done is rather than purchasing food that other people have done, he's gone to nick a carrot to lure them over. Yeah, it works. I 
That's not really feeding them, is it? That's just putting it down for them. Well, I didn't want to eat They're like, it if you wanted hand. that, you could... Uh, I didn't want to eat it out of my hand. See? They just want to be sat down, Cod. You're just standing up. They feel threatened by you standing up. No, they don't. They do, look. They come to me. They don't come to you. Kneel, kneel down, they'll come to you. Do not chew my nipple. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Did I stop? I mean, we were only ever going to end up back in one place. So these, I mean, they've had little children come over to them. Haven't they? To give them pets and things. Yeah, mate. Oh, he's so fluffy. He's so fluffy. Hey. How you doing? It's quite unbelievable. I know always, everyone always says that they just spit. They do spit when they feel threatened. But other than that, they just sort of chill and relax. Don't you? <laughs> Cody, you've just upset that one. I didn't upset that one at all. Yeah. Oh, I know. No, oh, I know. How mean are you? He scared me. How mean are you? It's all right, mate. Yeah. You come over here. Yeah. I'm telling you, that middle one. We'll give you cuddles. That middle one will not like you. Yeah. That middle one's a bit one. bigger. I was giving the other one a hug and he didn't like it. He didn't like it, no. You don't mind, no, do you? Go on, give, give the brown one a stroke. He'll square up to you. He won't, will you? <laughs> no, the white one. He doesn't trust you. We do too. Oh, I that one. You low. Oh, he's so fluffy. I think this one might be my favourite though. This one might be my favourite until he spits at me in a minute. Oh, look at him. He's so fluffy. Hello. So they said on the tractor tour, which is just passing us, this is the most natural lake in Yorkshire. And there's a tractor tour. Look at that. I mean, we didn't know we were on a tractor route, did we? But it is quite cool. Wild boar wood. We found the sounder aboard. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys. All right, don't have to fight over us. We're going to stand here and look for a bit. So apparently it's a native, native for Europe and here. I, I, I don't know where these are wild in the UK. Answers down below. So this is the nature trail. There's a few activities along the way. You going through there? To where? Yeah, I know. To where is a bit of a question. I mean, look, I genuinely, I think it's a bit easier to just literally just like... Go across. Boom. Yeah. I kind of agree, but again, it's, like it's absolutely beautiful. Watch him fall, watch him fall. God. Oh, he did well not to fall. I'm impressed. And there's loads of little adventure things. I'll do the tyre when I get back down there again. Cody didn't want to go on a tyre. You can get along the beams. If you fall off, you're in thistles and uh, <laughs> stingy nettles. I'll just throw that one out there. Well, this is really cool. <clears throat> oh, who's doing this? Fine. Is that mean I'm doing this? You're doing it. Oh, okay. Does it mean, no, I was going to get you to hold the phone. But I could do it with a laugh. Get to yeah. The yeah. I need my phone down here. Touch the tree. Touch the tree. Hey! Now don't break your leg coming back down. Well, that's the I know. I didn't want to tell you about that before you went up. Proud of you. 
Right, now the circle bit does take you along the top and back down the wild boars. However, I feel we should have a little bit of a challenge here. A little bit of a challenge. And uh, head back down the way we came because it looked more like an obstacle, especially around the corner. Right, it's this bit that says slippery. I don't know how we get down this without falling over. Whoa! Right, on the rock, to the right. There we go. On the rock to the right. I just went fucking going down there. On the rock. Yeah, but you're not seeing here. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Don't worry about that. On the rock here. This rock. I don't trust I'll save you because you're wearing white shorts. And I'm the one's got to wash them. That's it. And then round to the. Come on. Round to the. Old daddy. I'm good. He's down. And then we fall over on the easy bit here. That's what'll happen. Right. We're back to the tyres. What's... I don't really know. Climb high, I guess. We've come back to say hello. Well, actually, we've come back to say goodbye. Are you going to give us a goodbye? He's joining in. You've got to do it. You're the biggest one here. Well, that wraps it up here from Bowland Wild Boar Park. What a surprise that was, Cod. I'll tell, I'll tell the phone around on my phone today. That was really, really good. £10 entry. Um, all these animals to look at. Loads of places. Wildlife trails. Walk for alpaca. You know, sum it up nicely. I think mean, that's fantastic value for money. There's a lot of space around there on a beautiful day like this as well. It's not just support the uh, theme parks and fairs, is it? No. It's support everything that needs your help and uh, £10 per person. You just, you genuinely just can't go wrong. But thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.